Hello, this is Ben from Computer World. In this demonstration today, we're going to have a look at the distributed firewall within NSX. So to get started, I'm going to launch the firewall section within NSX Manager and expand out our default section. I just draw your attention to this bottom rule, which is the default rule. And this is set to any, any, the source and destination and the action of allow. Um, this is done so you don't lock yourself out of the environment. So it's very important you don't change this unless you know what you're doing. This differs to a traditional firewall because this is normally set to any, any, deny. So what we can do, first of all, is create a new section to use within this demonstration. So a section just allows us to group rules together. So I'm going to give this a name of NSX demo. Click add. And then I'm just going to click publish to push this configuration change to all of our hosts. So now what we can do is create a rule within that section. So the rule I'm going to create is just going to block ping. So I'm going to give it a name, block ping. For the source, I'm going to use a security group I created in the earlier demonstration called NSX Demo VMs. If you remember, this group contains four virtual machines. So I'm going to select that, click Save. The destination, I'm just going to leave it any. But I'm going to filter the service just to block pings. So in the services, I'm just going to filter on the word ICMP which will allow me to pick the ICMP echo and echo reply and click save. The next thing I need to do is change the action, which is currently set to allow pings. And I'm going to change this to block. And then I'm going to click publish again to push the rule down to the hosts within the cluster. If I just expand out the section, I can see I've created my rule. I'm now going to hop over to the virtual machine called WebVM1. And this is a member of that demo VM security group. So get the rule applied to it. And now I'm going to try and ping 192.168.50.250, which in this lab is my default gateway. So if we just give it a moment here, what we'll see is these pings start to time out. So this means that the ping traffic's being blocked by the firewall. So what I'll do now, just to prove this is working, is hop back over to my firewall section. And I'm going to change the action now to allow. So I'll do that and then hit publish to push the change down to the hosts. And quickly switch back to the virtual machine. What we'll see in a second here is we'll start to get a reply from the default gateway. To wrap up this demonstration, I'm just going to change the rule back to block. So I'm going to change in the drop down, hit publish, and that's changed that rule now. So we're blocking pings again. So if we just leave it a moment here, we'll start to see them timing out. And this wraps up this demonstration of creating a rule within the distributed firewall. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching.